Here's another version of a servo-based model railroad turnout motor. This is uh, using the popular SD90 servo motor, low cost but very effective. A couple of micro switches, uh, long leaf micro switches, and it uses a 0.047 control arm to throw the turnout. The 632 screw here uh, anchors the end of this arm that lets you adjust the height to the top of the table. And all of the hardware is 256. There are um, four half inch screws holding the micro switches. The servo arm here has a 7 16 and a 1 quarter inch screw to give adjustment for the slide. And all of these plastic parts that you see are, are 3D printed. Um, there are recessed nut holes and all of the 256 nuts have already been pressed into the holes. So I'll get started with the installation procedure here and show you how this thing goes together. First of all, we start by dropping the wire through the hole. Oops, that wire needs to go to the bottom and put it roughly in the center like that. Now, as I put this in place, it's important to note that this wire in the bottom goes into a recess slot there. So what that recess slot does is, is it gives you a little extra room for that wire to protect it so it doesn't get nicked. Uh, that's a pretty important thing. So let's get these screws in and tighten the servo motor in. And I think that should do it. Great. Next step will be to press the servo arm on. Now, what's really important is that this, um, the armature of the servo motor is turned fully clockwise. So when you press the servo arm, you don't want it to go more than horizontal, maybe slightly more. But it's important that it stops there. Otherwise, when you use these long leaf micro switches, the screw that throws them or presses against them could get trapped behind that blade. So make sure at zero position, it stops right there and doesn't go any further. So we can now press that on and install the screw. Now, once the servo's arm on, servo arm's on, we'll uh, assemble the slide. So you'll see here is the bottom of the slide itself with a recess. We just drop the pin right into it. It's, it's probably a good idea to, once you drop that pin in, to take the 0.047 control arm here and um, slide it through that hole a little bit just to make sure it it's nice and loose because it has to be able to slide on that. And when you install this pin and mount it onto this uh, servo arm, make sure that the center, that the pin is off center to the right, furthest away from my left here. So I'll simply put that on and notice how it slides back and forth. That will be your nice adjustment. The long screw, the 7 16 screw, goes on the left side here. So let me put that in place. And I'll screw that down just slightly snug. Okay, let you see that a little bit better now. And you'll see underneath, that's how it looks as it comes through and it's tied into the, right through that nut that holds it in place. The other side here will have just a quarter inch one. And that's it. Now you'll be able to move the slide arm across back and forth once these are slightly loosened. And that'll give you your adjustment on how far your arm throws. We'll get into that more later. Um, okay, next step after this is to install the micro switches. So I'll start by putting a long leaf micro switch right here. And what's very important to notice is where this lever is at the bottom here. It's real important that as in the outside part of that screw. You don't want to get it trapped behind that screw. So I'll put the top screw in and we'll start with the uh, tightening down the screws for this micro switch. And I'm going to bring these down where they're just slightly snug. And I'm still able to move the micro switch around a little bit. I'll press the bottom in and get that screw in. And again, you'll notice where that, that arm is on the outside of the screw there. Okay, 
Now, the next thing to do is to take the micro switch and press it in slightly like that. Keeps the tension on the micro switch as the screw passes across it during the rotation. Now that, that one's in place, and now we install the next micro switch. So we just drop this one in. Same process, put the top screw in. Tighten it down a little bit. Just loose. Put the second one in place as we swing that in so it lines up to the hole. Put it in loose. And again, this time I will position that in, turn it in, not out, but in, to keep that pressure all the way in near the middle. And I will tighten the screws. And as far as micro switch adjustment goes, there is no further adjustment. There's no need to tweak the switch um, because as this turnout motor works, when this screw passes through the levers, it goes a long ways, probably 20, 25 degrees of movement with that switch engaged. So there's no precision at all involved on when it contacts the micro switches. The throw arm itself will be independently adjustable with this, and we'll get into that in a moment. So the next piece is the um, anchor pin. The anchor pin is made to hold the end of that throw arm in place. You simply press this on. It has a little bit of a recess there, and it'll rotate. And then we take our turnout assembly and pop that in. That's now in place. This also uses a 632 screw, so let me get that started in the hole there, if I can manage. Right. So that's in place. And then the final step is to put the pin in. And the pin actually will come through the top. Now, what's nice about this is when you decide to install it in your system, it's very easy to drop the pin through and hit that big crack. Once it's through on the bottom, you can simply take tweezers and pull it through. I like to use something like these. Grab it and pull it through the hole. And once it's through the hole, you're golden. So there's no worries about getting precision done uh, to align it to the top. You pop it through the hole here in the back piece. Spin it around a little bit. And now this is your adjustment. This screw here, you can simply set this uh, pin to the right height you want, to the bottom, to the top of the tie in the turnout, and then tighten the screw down. And you're done. And that's it. Now there are a couple of extra features available. There is a um, this ring available that lets you pop it in the hole here. And if you choose to, you can use screws here and here that will let you turn on the ring to, to install it and deinstall it. So you just loosen the screws, turn it a little bit, and pull it out. The other nice thing about the ring is there's a piece made here that clips on to the bottom of a, um, your turnout. I'm using Pico Code 100, although it's the same size for Code 83. And in my case, I've got a two inch piece of foam on my table, so I have a pretty long shaft. But basically, once you drill your hole, a 5 8 inch hole for this ring, at the top, this will just be able to pop right down into there, just like that. And the ring does a really nice job of keeping um, shreds of uh, wood away from where you drill your hole through the plywood and debris from the um, foam, if you use foam. So again, this is optional. Uh, the other option is to just install it and be able to use these two slots here to move it up and down. Um, what I've noticed is that all turnouts aren't exactly the same. Some take a little bit more pressure to throw than others. Sometimes the detents don't work because of damage to the spring, in the case of the Picos. And it's nice to be able to put it in a position to hold pressure against the side. So the adjustment is what's really cool about this. Um, the amount of throw that you have as this arm goes around is controlled by the position of this pin. So if I loosen the slide and move the pin away from my left, look how far that throw arm will grow, go. So when you rotate it through, it'll go all the way over to the other side. The closer I keep it to the middle, the less movement I have. So if I want to set it for just a little bit like that, that's probably fine. I just slide it over, tighten the screws down. And again, the nice thing is no matter what you do, it will not affect the micro switch settings. Um, so that's pretty much it. What I really like about this is the ease of adjustment.
no worrying about making it stop in a perfect spot relative to the micro switches and the fact that this full 180 degree rotation gives you quite a bit more torque to move this arm left and right. So that's pretty much the system. Enjoy!